Hey guys, my name is Rebecca, aka Being Born a Cat, and welcome back to my channel. I'm in Jacksonville, Florida, and we're about to check out Jack's Beach Brunch Club. Now, I was planning to shoot elsewhere today, but my plans got foiled. Someone DM'd me this place, and they looked really neat. They're not fully vegan, but they seem to have a lot of really good vegan options for breakfast, so we're gonna go check it out. Let's go! I'm from New York City born and raised. Over the past few years, I've rated and reviewed every bit of vegan food I can get my hands on. But my quest for vegan food was insatiable. And in 2021, I built a camper out of plywood to start my journey eating through every city North America has to offer. If you're a foodie like me, subscribe, ring the bell, and enjoy the ride. We'd love to have you. Okay, we're here. I'm sitting like on a back patio area. Um, there is music playing, so we'll see. Might get demonetized. Ah, story of my life, shooting in restaurants. Um, but I got the menu, we'll look it over, we'll see what we can get, and I definitely need a coffee because I haven't had any coffee today. This whole part, this whole part's vegan. Oh, there's so many vegan options. Okay, I was like, I was a little nervous to come here, but okay, no. So, we have just egg split, which is vegan just egg served in an avocado topped with house-made pico de gallo, vegan cheese served with fruit and bread. Okay, that sounds so cool. And then there's French toast. There is a veggie tofu scramble, a Mexicali wrap, avocado toast, a vegan Philly, a veggie wrap. And then like sides, you can get just like a scrambled just egg on the side. This is so, I'm so glad I got here. I'm so glad I came here. A little longer than a few minutes later. Um, I have it down to four options, but I want three, right? So the four is the just egg split. That sounds crazy. I want to try it. French toast, tofu scramble, Mexicali wrap. I feel like the tofu scramble and the Mexicali wrap are just the same thing. Just like a wrap version and a non-wrap version. So I don't want to get both. Maybe I'll do wrap. I don't know. Okay, wait. Maybe I'll ask the server. More moments later. I got the just egg split. That's what I'm most curious about, right? And then the server recommended the vegan Mexicali wrap, so I got that. And then for French toast, the French toast is $13, but you can get one piece for $3.50. So I got one piece, so we can get a taste test. So we're not gonna get cute pictures of French toast, but we can get a taste test of the French toast while still keeping our budget down. I'm excited. Tell me why. Come here. Tell me why I thought that they were gonna cook the just egg in the avocado, but no. That's on me, that's on me. Like, I really thought they were like scooping out some of the avocado, pouring some just egg in there and like popping it in the oven or something, but no, served in an avocado, not cooked in an avocado. I feel dumb. Recovering from my initial disappointment that I put upon myself. Okay, so here's the food. Just egg bowl with avocado, pico de gallo, and cheese. This looks amazing. A side of fresh fruit and some toast. And I think the server was totally right on the head when she recommended me the Mexicali burrito because it looks and smells so good. Like right off the bat, I think that this is exactly what I'm gonna enjoy the most. And my little lonely French toast. Honestly, it's still pretty cute. Part of me wants to save the best for last with the burrito, but part of me wants to just go for it. So I think I'm just gonna go for it, but I'm gonna read to you what's inside first. It's a sun-dried tomato wrap, scrambled tofu, vegan chorizo, bell pepper, avocado, vegan cheese, house fries or sweet potato hash inside. I don't know. I see fries inside mine, which is good. Maybe she telepathically knew I didn't like sweet potato very much. Cheers. Oh, so good. This is so good. Mmm. The chorizo is salty. And then you have the crunch from the bell peppers that aren't all the way cooked, so they're not fully mushy. And then tofu scramble. Creaminess from the avocado. And the tortilla is toasty. Oh, yeah. That's a definite go. You also have the option to put just egg in it. But I had just egg here, so I wanted to try their tofu scramble, you know? 
So the general manager just stopped by. His name is Tommy. If you're watching this, hi, you are so sweet. And he gave me a cup for my coffee. And look how cute it is. It's absolutely adorable. So I might take some coffee to go in this later. <laughs> oh, as I was saying, 10 out of 10. Literally doesn't need anything. I'm gonna be taking the second half to go. Maybe I'll have it for lunch or dinner later. Seven hours later. Let's switch it up and do sweets now. I might have put a bit much in terms of maple syrup. Some people say that there's no such thing as too much maple syrup. Who there is? Oop, oop, oop. Oh, there we go. Very fluffy and sweet. It's made with just egg and oat milk. Mmm. I've never made French toast with just egg before. I usually just use soy milk and stuff, but it's pretty good. It made a little layer on top, and it didn't soak very much in the bread, so the inside is still fluffy and not wet, which is, which is pretty good. That bite was for Birdo. His favorite food is French toast. Okay, let's give the just egg a try. I mean, I don't know. What just, I know what just egg tastes like, but. Maybe they seasoned it. <laughs> I've never had it with pico de gallo, so I'm gonna read the description again. Vegan just eggs served in an avocado topped with house-made pico de gallo. Vegan cheese served with a side of fruit and bread. I know me, I'm probably gonna put ketchup on this, but I always put ketchup on scrambles. Cheers, it's super fluffy. Honestly, just egg, an innovation. That one was an innovation. Pretty good. Oh yeah. I can't tell what kind of cheese this is, like what brand, but I'll ask. Mm. Between the avocado and the cheese and the pico de gallo, it doesn't need ketchup. But honestly, okay, I have one, one note. If they would have not put shredded cheese and instead put like a cheese sauce, maybe with a little bit of potatoes, like on the bottom put hash browns, and then on top put like a little drizzle of like cheese sauce. I think that would have been more successful than the shreddy cheese. Cause like vegan shreddy cheese, let's be honest, it's not as good as regular shreddy cheese. So I think the sauce route would have been better. But it's not bad. I'm just saying, if y'all want to elevate, this bread is very good. And I'll be taking this fruit to go to snack on later. No surprise though. This is the fave. This wins. This is what you should get if you come. Also, like, I'm usually just a Bustello drinker and all other coffee is mediocre to me. I'll drink it, but it's mediocre. Their coffee on tap, I don't know what it is, but it's pretty, pretty decent. I just said coffee on tap. Their coffee on pot. Mmm. <laughs> I will finish this. And get back to you with a little tour of the place because y'all barely saw it and final thoughts be back most people left so let me show you around the outside seating area it's real cozy and cute they definitely have a theme with the colors there's an inside dining area too but i'll try to show you that later look how cute this place is on the inside heading to the restroom it's even cute in here let me show you the dining area too. It's nice and big for if you don't want to sit outside. And they have a bar. Yeah, honestly, super happy that I came here by mistake, by mistake, uh, without planning, because this place is really awesome. I definitely recommend. It's really a good place if you want to have a cute brunch or maybe have a meal with vegan and non-vegan friends and family, or if you're vegan or if you're non-vegan. I mean, I'm sure if the vegan food is this good, the non-vegan food is just as good. It's also pretty packed in there, which is another good sign of the place being yummy. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow my Instagram where I post every single day, up on my Instagram right here. My TikTok is the same. And my travel channel is Stopping Somewhere. I'll put it down below. I'll see you later. Goodbye! 
Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex, Craig, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, the Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Adriana, McKenna, Shanta, and Adrian. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there, and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!